Hey guys, welcome back to Tech Wrapped, and here in this video, we are going to talk about the MIUI 10 port for OnePlus 5T. The port is based on Oreo 8.0 and it is the latest MIUI 10 version available right now, which is 8.6.7. Before talking about specific MIUI 10 features working on 5T, I'm glad that with this build, this on screen navigation bar by default, which is not the case with MIUI 9 build, which I tried before. And also you can enable full screen gesture mode by going to settings, full screen display from system and device. As you can see there are 3 gestures available right now, swipe up from bottom center edge to go to home screen, swipe up and pause for getting into recents. And yeah talking about the recent menu, this is the new revamped recent menu with MIUI 10. I really like this one, I have already tried MIUI 10 on different devices and this updated recent menu looks cool and convenient. We can scroll through multiple tabs separate swipe left or right to close them and when you long press specific tab you can go to app settings, enable split screen mode and lock the tab in the recent menu. Coming back to other full screen gestures, you can swipe left from right edge and right from left edge to go back. Compared to OnePlus full screen gestures, I find this going back gesture much more convenient and accurate with MIUI. With Oxygen OS, most of the times I ended up going to the home screen while going back with swipe up from left or right edge. Moving on to most important changes of MIUI 10, we have the new materialistic design, quick toggle and notification panel. The quick toggles are of Android P style and they look much better than MIUI 9 quick toggles. Above quick toggles, we have time, day and date info on the left, network, battery info with settings button on the right. Below the quick toggles, we have data usage stats and the new brightness slider. Volume slider also got an upgrade with MIUI 10 and now we can individually control volume of music, notifications and ringtones, enable silent and do not disturb modes. There are new Mi AI features included like voice assistant and car mode but they currently only work with Mandarin Chinese language so no use for English users. Talking about things which are working in this ROM, network is fine, no issues accessing mobile data but Vivo LTE is not working. I was able to connect to my Bluetooth devices, hotspot is fine, NFC is also working. There is no face unlock feature but fingerprint sensor is working fine but it is not as fast as Oxygen OS. Under display options you can find auto brightness which is working but night mode is missing here. We have tab plus to press and hold to recognize images from UI gallery app and lot of categories are included here compared to only 3 or 4 on Redmi Note 5 Pro. We have headphone and audio effects, one handed mode, second space and dual apps. There are two camera apps included in this ROM, one is OnePlus camera and the other is MIUI camera. Both camera apps lack portrait mode and the pictures came out to be just ok. Regarding sensors, all sensors are working fine, accelerometer, magnetic field, gyroscope, light, proximity and gravity sensors. It took some time to get a location fix but GPS is also seem to be working. Benchmarking apps had issues so I couldn't complete the test. Audio has no issues either with headphones or with the loudspeaker and video playback is also fine. Coming to the installation of this ROM, you need an unlock bootloader. So if you haven't unlocked the bootloader, enable OEM unlocking and USB debugging within developer options, boot to fastboot mode, connect phone to the PC, navigate to ADB and fastboot file folder, hold shift plus right click to open command window or powershell. Type fastboot devices to make sure everything is fine and then type fastboot OEM unlock. Back to your phone, use your phone volume keys to select whether to unlock your bootloader or not. Once you have selected unlock the bootloader option, hit the power button. That's it, your phone's bootloader has been unlocked and now the internal storage is being wiped. Now go back to fastboot mode again, connect phone to the PC, go to ADB and fastboot folder, copy the recovery name. Type fastboot flash recovery recovery name dot img within PowerShell and hit enter. This will flash the recovery. Once it is done, go to recovery, select wipe from home screen, pick format data option and type yes to finish formatting data partition. This will wipe your storage so make sure you have backed up important files if you have any. Now reboot to recovery again, transfer MIUI 9 ROM file to your phone, select install from home screen, pick MIUI 9 ROM file and install it. 
After it is done, reboot your phone. Now install Google Installer APK, open it, hit the blue icon and follow the on-screen instructions to complete downloading all Google apps. Once it reaches 100%, hit the red button to finish the process. Now connect your Google account and make sure everything is working with Play Store. This step is very important. If you don't add Google account now, you will not be able to add later with MIUI 10 ROM. After you are done checking, boot to recovery again, transfer MIUI 10 ROM file and now dirty flash this ROM without wiping anything. Click install and pick MIUI 10 ROM file and once it is done, reboot and you will be on MIUI 10. So that's it for now, everything is working fine with this ROM, even though I can't get the benchmarking apps work, the ROM is super smooth. You can definitely give it a try if you don't care much about Vivo LTE. So thanks for watching guys and I will see you soon in my next video.